We all have different designs of rings, whether minimal or decorative, and are searching for a matching bracelet for. Let's get started and make one. Round nose pliers, chain nose pliers, flush cutter, wires of 20 and 26 gauge as needed. Also, your metal hammer and the hard surface, of course, for hammering. Pick up 20 gauge wire, pull it with fingers to make it all straight, and then make a very little loop with round nose pliers. That would be something like P or Q letter. And then with a bigger part of your round nose pliers, make a teardrop shape like this and put your round nose pliers at the same place just in front of the first one and make another teardrop. Just wrap the wire all around and after you had completed the second shape, put round nose pliers at the same place you had made the first P shape and then make another little loop at this point. If it's hard for you to make it at this place, just open it up a little and wrap the wire all around till you get the second loop. Then cut the wire out at the intersecting point. Now we have two loops in front of each other and we should check them out to be all closed and squeeze them to delete any space in between. That's ready, our first motif. Now we need to make plenty of them. This is the second one. And for every two of these motifs, we need a joint. So pick up 20 gauge wire again and also round those pliers to make another loop at first. And that's also a P-shaped loop. And again, put round those pliers in front and make another one vice versa. Look at it, it's just like an infinity symbol. Then cut it out to have the first joint. No matter how tiny are our pieces, we should check them out perfectly and squeeze them and press them to be all flattened. Now we have our first two motifs and the first joint that connects the two pieces. There is another way for making that joint. After making the first P shape, you could insert a bead or pearl, a very tiny one, and then make the second loop. That's the result, the simple one, and the one with the golden bead. That's perfect for the wire rings with different kind of beads or stones and that could be a matching item. And for the minimal rings, the simple one is the better choice. You could use each of them as you desire and according to the design you have in mind. Come back to the motifs we have made and here, we could do some hammerings at these teardrop shapes and I'm going to do that. But still, you could keep the rounded shape of wire and remain it unhammered. But doing that makes it both beautiful and tough. So I've made all the motifs and hammered them just like this a flattened and texturized pieces and I'm going to attach every two of them. Open up the first P 
P shape of one of your connectors and then insert one of your motifs and close it just like when you open and close a jump ring. Pay a little attention to the way I'm doing that. Open in the second one and insert in the second motif. Also close it and that would be the way we attach two motifs together. And we do the same for every pair of motifs attached. And we continue to the length with a zayer and is appropriate to the size of our wrist. But we remain one centimeters for the hook. One of the easiest ways is to continue wrapping and rolling one of those P loops on the motive and that would be the hook and I'm using the connector with the pearl to know which one is the hook but you could make any other kind of hooks like the one I put the tutorial above. After attaching the last one, the chain bracelet is ready and you could close it just like this. Also, it would be better to add a jump ring at the end. That's the look of our very beautiful wire bracelet. And one more tip. You could add a wire wrapping part at the middle of this motif, especially if you're not hammering it. So to increase the durability, you could use your thinner wire of 26 gauge, insert it in, and then with your round nose pliers, throw it and make it rounded to make the first tie, and then pull it to make it tight, and wrap it for the second time and do the same. Then squeeze it well with chain nose pliers to make at least two times of wire wrapping. Cut it out and squeeze it well with chain nose pliers and you could use your round nose pliers for the parts inside and to wrap it completely all around. That's the motif with wire wrapping and you could just skip this step. And let me know about what's your choice. Would you prefer that with wire wrapping or without? Please drop a comment.